Meanwhile, amidst fears of growing Chinese belligerents in the South China Sea and neighboring nations of Southeast Asia have now stepped up efforts to bolster their military cooperation. Now, in the latest development, Vietnam and Japan, interestingly, have signed a defense deal. And under the agreement, Japan can now give defense equipment and also technology to Vietnam. Details about the specific transfer of equipment, including naval vessels, will be worked out in subsequent talks. The deal has been signed as a part of the ongoing visit by Japan's Defense Minister, Nobuo Kishi, in Vietnam. He said that the deal, in fact, had elevated their defense partnership to a new level altogether. In the face of rising military influence of China, both nations also plan to deepen defense ties through multinational joint exercises and other means. The Japan's Defense Ministry has said in a statement that Kishi and Jiang agreed on the importance of maintaining freedom of navigation and overflight in the Indo-Pacific region. Japan had also then launched a rhetorical attack on China by saying that it detests any unilateral attempts to change the status quo by coercion or by any other activities that escalate tensions. Now China has been accused of violations in the South China Sea by the Japanese Tamil again. And the deal, in fact, came on the same day that Japan's defense ministry announced that a submarine believed to be from China was spotted in the waters near its southern islands. Now, Japan's navy also identified a submerged vessel sailing northwest just outside the territorial waters near Amami, Oshima Island. A Chinese destroyer was also reportedly spotted in the vicinity. Now, remember, Japan and Vietnam had met in Hanoi. And, and this, of course, coincided with a two-day visit to the Vietnamese capital by the Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi. Now, the Chinese Foreign Minister met with Vietnam's Communist Party leader, Nguyen Pa Trong, Prime Minister Pam Min Chin, and also his counterpart, Bui Tan Son. The cooperation on the dispute of the South China Sea was, in fact, top on the agenda in the meeting, and both sides agreed to avoid any unilateral action that could complicate the situation in the very troubled region. Now, China has asked Vietnam to stop magnifying the South China Sea crisis. China, in fact, went ahead to war against the intervention of extraterritorial forces. The agreement, of course, comes two weeks after the U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris travelled to Vietnam to strengthen ties with the Southeast Asian nation. And during the tour, Harris had, in fact, urged the countries to stand up against bullying by China and the South China Sea. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.